Hi ho everybody, this is the Zoe Man, and this time on Reviewing Stuff, I will be reviewing the game Sonic the Hedgehog, aka Sonic 06, for the Xbox 360, and also the album by Foster the People called Torches. Alright, let's get down to it with Sonic. Sonic 06 is legendary for being one of the worst games of all time. The gameplay, the load screen, just everything about it, people generally don't like. So I'm giving this a 6 out of 10. Probably more lenient than some people would give it, but whatever. What I liked about it was that how it was more fun to play the Silver and Shadow story modes than it was to play in the Sonic story modes. You know, I think the Shadow and Silver story modes were sort of had more to offer than the Sonic story mode did in some respects. I don't know why they weren't fun, but they were. What I didn't like about the game, though, the, loads, the load screens messed with the general flow of the game. It kind of had this feel of, oh yeah, we're going to do something, load screen. Okay. Alright, it's done loading. Alright, the person's going to talk. Okay, load. Uh, but what? But why? Another thing I didn't like was how Sonic was uncontrollable for most of the game. When you tried to go at least a little bit fast, because you got to go fast, he becomes kind of almost uncontrollable, and it's kind of hard to try to map out his sort of general traje trajectory with different stuff. I also did not like the turbo boost parts or the mock speed sections of the game. They were very difficult. I see what they were trying to do, but at the same time, they could have done it a little bit better. You could have had a little bit more control over the situation and everything, so it could have been done better. I also did not like the implied love story between Sonic and Elise. Not, it's just... Ah, uh, Japan. Okay, so there's other stuff I didn't like, but if I tried to list them all, it would take up way too much of the video. So, all in all, this game had a potential to be a great game. It, had, it really did. The mechanics were there, the story was kind of there, but due to its early release, it kind of feels like an unfinished game, and it should have been put off until the next year for the release. Alright, so ending on a happy note with the album Torches by Foster the People. I'm giving this album an 8 out of 10. Why? I'll tell you why. I liked the fact that this album had a very good overall sound. I also liked how the songs were very catchy, and this was an interesting sort of pop album. I also liked the great musicianship of the people in the band. And I also liked how the use of the electronic sound was actually a pretty good use of it instead of just overly using it or just, use, or just using the dubstep wub 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 all the time. What I didn't like about it though is that they have a bass player, but you can't tell that he's there on most of the songs. But that's okay. Most people don't like the bass player anyways. I like the bass player, but that's because I'm a bass player myself. Overall, it's a better album than I expected it would be for being a pop album. And it's one of those that people should check out at least once. Maybe more than that. <laughs> Alright, so if you guys want to suggest anything for me to review, video games, music, hell, even movies or anything else, just go ahead and comment on this video, go to the YouTube page, or go to the Facebook page. And next time on Reviewing Stuff, I will be reviewing the Shadow of Destiny game on the PC. That's right, the PC, not the PSP anymore, the PC. And I will be reviewing the album called Plastic Beach by the Gorillas.